Look at all those. Look at that ATV. What's up, bro? Fig stuff. Oh, you never seen fig before? Welcome. This is fig. This thing is ridiculous. This is so clean. Related. I was like, why are there fire trucks here? What's up, bro? They took the whole wall. What happened here? Like, folks, welcome back to the channel. Tonight you're joining me for an afternoon, late evening cruise. Out here in the hood, we are by Figueroa Street. We're going to do our reverse loop. So usually we go this way down Fig. This is southbound. This is the 110 freeway going north, which is a U-turn. So north is this way, south is this way. Uh, usually we start on Fig and go south. Today, we're taking Broadway south, going down, I don't know, 10, 20 streets, whatever feels, uh, proper comfortable whatever we feel like doing really then we're going to turn around and come back up fig the other way something we usually don't do another thing we usually don't do is come down here at this time it is about 30 minutes till sunset uh you don't want to be caught out here for any reason at this time but like i said i don't have any of my brain cells left one and two i didn't have anything better to do with my time today so here we are out here riding adventuring in the most exciting place that I could think of, which is down here in South Central. So that is what exactly we are doing today. At this particular moment, we're going to go on Broadway. I hear an ice cream truck. So that is uh, terrifying. And we're gonna go south. So right here is Broadway. We're gonna cruise down the street here. I don't really ever check out Broadway for any reason. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a street. <laughs> That's the best way I can put it. Oh, I got a bike shop here. Pretty cool. Serving the community. Always love to see that. Uh, it is summertime in LA. I know you guys sometimes don't watch the videos at the time that I post them. So for future reference, it is August uh, 5th, I think. So we're smack dab in the middle of summer. I'm hearing sirens. I don't exactly know what's going on. But I'm definitely hearing some sirens. And I'm getting some strange looks as I'm cruising around down here. Uh, you may be asking, most common question of all time on my channel, why I'm on the sidewalk. Well, out here is probably, uh, you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. You're equally in danger if you're in the street or the sidewalk out here. So, you know, it is what it is. Ice cream truck, damn, why is he, why is it? Dude, that's an ice cream minivan. Hold on, wait, look at this. What's up, bro? Where can I find Main Street? Main Street? Yeah. Uh, that, that'd be like one more major street down this way. One more down that way? Yeah. Because this is Broadway, next major street, Main Street. That's a nice bike. Oh, thank you, brother. Yeah. How much you pay for that? Uh, 200. Really? Yeah, I got it from a friend. I, uh, hey, be safe, brother. Thank you. Yeah. You too. I mean, I, you know, it's just, it's subconscious for me to not tell the price. Look at this street right here, bro. I gotta check this one out, even though it's off the, it's off the route of what we're planning on taking today. It's just got such a cool aesthetic to it. It's just so cool. <laughs> it's like an alley slash street. Look at that old school. I hear dogs and I can't see them because I'm going into the sun and I don't like that. So we're gonna get right back off of this street right now i think this is the freeway yeah this is a freeway off ramp oh, oh no oh no oh no oh no oh no oh no we're good we're good i don't see any roadkill i don't think you could have seen that i don't think oh man dude we're we're, we're out here right now folks ladies and gentlemen we are out here on a cool, look at that Supra though. Damn, it's hot. Uh, it is a very nice summer's evening, may I add. There's a black fire hydrant. That's something you don't see every day. It's very cool temps. I want to say about 70 degrees. It's a nice evening. You know, it's a very nice night for a ride. I just happened to come out to out here. This is just where I decided to go for my ride. And uh, we're going to make the most of it. And while we're out here, we're gonna see some things we don't usually see, and maybe some things that we've never seen before. Who knows? Either way, we are going to go down to, I wanna say maybe 70th Street right now. We're on 67th. I'm gonna duck in the street for a little bit. Let's just spin it right quick. 
Um, yeah, so right now the plan, we're gonna stick pretty close to the freeway. Fun fact, on the way down here, I saw a like a full-blown fire on the freeway. But <laughs> that's just, uh, you know, that was a pretty nice welcoming to uh, to the hood. I was like, oh, hey, well, there's a fire. Got that off the bingo card. That's uh, something you typically see. Got homeboy getting across the street with his cart. Man, let him cross. Oh, shit, we got mini bikes. Watch, they're about to dip out. There they go. Hood classic, folks, the mini bikes. Those things are so sketchy. <laughs> Some people love them. Me, I am. I'm good. Uh, we're right here on Florence. We might as well. That was a better time than ever to go this way. Let's see. We got an alley right here. I kind of want to check it out. Oh, never mind. It's gated off. A lot of the alleys back here, as I've pointed out in videos in the past, are gated uh, for whatever reason. I don't know if they're gated by the city or by the people who live here or what, but you cannot access them. You just can't get back there for any reason. Swerving. It's kind of cutthroat right now with the traffic. I'm really being careful in case you guys can't notice. Standoff right there. That was a little. Uh, it was like, who's gonna go first? I try to always let the cars go first, even when it's clear that uh, you know they don't want me to go. I'm always trying to let the cars go first. Uh, so we're on Fig, the famous Fig, back on Fig. Where we were about a week ago is where we are today, and uh, we're gonna go south. What we always do. I know I just mentioned I was gonna do a big lap around and go from bottom to back up this way, but you know, it is what it is. Anyways, big, well known. Let's go ahead and make our way through here, excuse me. We're gonna go ahead and pop into the street real quick, I think. It's a little too narrow for us to slide through, even though it looks pretty cool. Feral cats. They're brave as hell. Fig stuff. Oh, you've never seen fig before? Welcome. First time. <laughs> I don't think I need to add any commentary to what's going on at this part of the video. This is fig. And uh, yeah. Look at this, parking enforcement. <laughs> and this is a government building right on the, okay, this is a, this is a, this is a scene right here. Looks like there was just a, actually, I think this is unrelated. I was like, why are there fire trucks here? Looks like they're here in an unrelated incident to uh, the, uh, the, the activities that are outside, to say the least. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's just, uh, that's what we're gonna, that's that, that's fig. I just, you know, I still don't know how to like describe what I'm seeing when I'm there on that street. It's just, uh, it's just, is what it is. Like, I don't really know how else to put it. I'd be careful to like, not, you guys gotta remember, I have to, <laughs> I have to be careful about what I put on YouTube as far as like, Censoring things and showing things like I don't want to show some guy like some random dude Like ruin his life, <laughs> you know, like I gotta, I gotta be very careful about what I do include I just bunny hop this thing with ease. Holy I'm getting stronger Um, Actually, I guess we're just gonna cross and go back up big at the other opposite side against traffic again And just see what's going on on this side of the street not nearly the fig ride that I wanted to do today. I wanted to go way further down. But uh, I think we're just gonna go slightly in a different direction. The electric dirt bike? Yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks. It's called a Suron. How much was it? Uh, like 1500. Yeah. Uh, 
Just giving different prices all day, why not? I mean, hey, I got nothing to lose. Anyways, we're trying to get the hell out of here right now, honestly. This street is crazy, bro. It's like this all the way up and down. Like, say I was just like coming out for a regular ride. Like, I would have no choice but to, you know, ride through this. <laughs> Biggest thing. You know, this is what it is out here and it'll probably never ever change. Same, uh, same speech I had last time, but you know, it still applies. You know what's funny though, is I grew up in North Long Beach, which has the famous Long Beach Boulevard right there, you know? And Long Beach Boulevard is known for, uh, you know, the same thing we're seeing here. Obviously I can't say it. I don't know if I can actually, but I'm trying not to. Uh, it's really known for the same thing and you know it, it was really prevalent there too but i just never paid that much attention to it like you would see it you know you see folks standing on the street uh sales people if you will but i never just like it didn't really hit me what was going on like it does nowadays when i ride through i'm like damn it's just <laughs> i don't know anyways we gotta make our way back. This is a sketch right here. Okay. See, this is why I just hate riding in the street out here, bro. I'd rather take it slow on the sidewalk than deal with these drivers. It's just, they are in such a rush. And I'm not wearing my green shirt either, which I feel like actually helps a lot when it comes to being seen out here. Like, it definitely helps a lot. I'm wearing, like, just random clothes today. Oh. Gas in the Saran. We're going. To, we're cooking. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Well. Talk about a hot lap, folks. That is the definition of a hot lap. What we just did. Holy. Wow. <laughs> Let's see. What are we at? 16 minutes. Oh, we got to get some more footage. We don't even have a full video done. Oh, go get some more. Okay, let's uh, let's go straight a little bit. Wow. I mean, dude, it's never a dull moment on this bike. It's always so exhilarating to just ride it around. But uh, <laughs> we definitely saw the uh, you know what's going on down there on Fig. So nothing new there. We definitely uh, saw that. Last time we rode on Fig. Oh boy, pulling up was a little strange, but you know. I actually don't know if he was pulling up on me, but he's definitely giving me a hard look. Like, what, what is bro doing here? Anyways. There is that. Let's, uh, let's see what else is going on out here. Someone's about to get towed. Got the tow truck out here. There's a jacket just in the middle of the street. Move it across. Oh, I was kind of aggressive how I pulled up. I thought he was pulling up to block me. I was about to be like, oh, okay, well, we are going to go ahead and uh, start accelerating away if that was the case, but I don't think it is. But I'm kind of like, uh, is, he, is he on my tail? Here's the thing about riding down here. You get paranoid off of nothing, but it's not unfounded not unfounded because when i was growing up in bad neighborhoods you always have to watch your back like constantly 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 it's just a way it's just a way that you grow up you know you don't even you're not even let me know in the comments if you guys can relate because i know i'm not the only one when you're raised in neighborhoods like that like you, it's just natural for you to be suspicious of everything that's a sick toyota super clean uh, you're just naturally suspicious of these things like when someone pulls into you on a certain way like that was unnatural right there's there's no doubt about it the way that he came in okay he it turns out he was just driving like that but you would think that he was coming in to stop in front of me 
and I don't know, hop out or who knows what, you know, you, know, you never know what's going on. Riding around out here, is it like, you could just be mistaken for somebody, you know, that's another cold part of, of, uh, of being in, in these neighborhoods is like, you could just be chilling and someone can see you and think you're somebody from somewhere else or someone that he knows from somewhere or some part of some family that he has problems with, is blah, blah, blah. It's, you know, you're in this huge problem. I'm wearing a helmet, you can't even see my face. I'd be like, hey man, you don't know me. I'm just like, I'm riding around, you don't, you know? And then what, it's, in my, it's just my story versus, uh, versus reality, which would be, uh, you know, who knows how that would go. I know I kind of just came up with this crazy scenario, but I, just, I know some of you guys out there get it. Some of you probably think that sounds crazy, but I know others, damn that truck got smashed. Understand what I'm talking about. It is a real thing, all right? You gotta stay on your two toes out here. Your tippy toes. Anyways, we're just cruising along. We got a clean dually right here. I cannot see that well going this way, so I'm chilling right now. I'm going very nice and slow, and I'm just chatting with you guys, you know? We're just doing tales from the hood right now. Taco spot, cracking. It smells so good. Uh, we got the walk light. I guess we're gonna keep on going straight for a bit. We're about to end up right back on Fig, honestly. So I think we're just gonna go ahead and do that. We did a crazy route just now. We got an alley right here. There's like, you know. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was a nice dog, but he's still scared the f out of me, bro. <laughs> it's party season out here, that's right. That's what's happening to the little family party's going down. Anyways, we're back at the freeway once again. Our our uh, north star, if you will. This is what guides us to where we are uh, trying to not stray too far from is the freeway at all times. We're always trying to stay close to the freeway. I get wild looks out here. I mean, I get wild looks everywhere because I just I'm on a Saran, but I get the wildest of them out here, dude. My phone straight up was about to fall out of my pocket this entire time. So that's kind of even more wild than everything else. Anyways. I think we had a pretty cool run today. We just, uh, we shredded a little bit. We tore it up left, right, and center. We did fig, which was the main idea for today's ride. I wanted to do a lot more fig. But just a little too active tonight. <laughs> if, you, if you catch my drift. There's a little too much going on there. So uh, we'll reserve that for another day. It's not going anywhere. It's a street, quite literally. And it's like that all the time. Uh, it's kind of weird vibes today, but you know. I'm just out here chilling, riding. I got nothing to worry about. So folks, we're back out here in the City of Angels and there is a chicken straight up in the middle of the sidewalk. Just chilling on the sidewalk. Hey buddy, hey. If I go past, will you pick at me? Okay, well. Anyways, folks, today we are out here in the hood once again. This is where we came the other day when there was a standoff and I was in the alley with the uh, dogs and cats. Or one dog. There was some glass right there. And a bunch of cats. So we're going to try to avoid alleys for the most part today. We're just kind of, I don't know, we're cruising around some areas. We don't really go down that much. Look at this crazy truck. And some gang taggings right behind it. Got some fellas over there with uh, someone's on an e-bike, chilling. We are going to scope out the alleys. Hopefully, you know, maybe we could check out a couple, but I mean, it's just, uh, it's kind of a different level out here where we're at in this part of uh, South Central. It's not a place where you typically go and just ride around. As you guys know, I am uh, lacking most of my brain cells, so I just kind of ride wherever I feel like on any given day. And today, I picked down here and that's where we're at. So right now we're on 22nd Street. We're going to cruise south for a little bit. Usually we go straight down uh, today. I don't know. I, I really have no idea what the plan is. We're just going to play it by ear and hopefully not get eaten by any dog. And in the meantime, I'm going to try and show you guys as much as I can of the neighborhoods out here. Graffiti, stuff that's going on. That's a, actually a really cool Civic. First off, look at this wall straight up. I mean, this is the definition of, of a gang tagging right here. They took the whole wall. Wow. Here that you really see a, um, a tagging that's this big. I don't even know what property this is. It wraps around to the other side too. Wow. 
I'm not the best at reading tagging, so maybe someone in the comments can fill us in on what that says. But, uh, you know, it's been a minute since we just went on a cruise without trying to look for anything in specific. Police scanner is off. We're not even going to any uh, particular... What am I hearing? Oh, it's an ice cream truck. Oh, dude, I don't know why that... It sounded like a, a police loudspeaker or something. <laughs> Dude, that song is kind of cursed. It just did not sound right. I don't know. It's kind of like warped. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. Uh, yeah, you know, so anyways, as I was saying, it's been a minute since we just did like a, a random cruise out here in, uh, in South Central LA. So that's kind of the agenda today. We're just out mobbing around, see what we see. Um, I'm just playing spectator on the e-bike. We're going to check out some alleys. We're going to check out what's going on out here in the city. You know, every so often I like just mobbing through the hood and seeing uh, what's changed. Right now we're going into a blind alley, which I might turn around. I'm taking it real slow because I feel like there'd be a dog back here. I can't really tell. See, this is the type of the alley that I am good on now because I know I just came from this way, so that's safe. But I feel like if I go that way, a dog could pop up and I'll be cornered. I do want to check out the art back here, though. The art is sick. Look at this. Barbed wire. Everywhere you go out here, you're going to see lots of barbed wire and also these fences with the spike points designed to keep people out and prevent you from coming in. Very cool graffiti back here. Very, you know, Mad Max vibes is how I like to describe a lot of the alleys in L.A. I originally wasn't intending on even coming this far. Rocky the family dog. Dude, that's awesome. They have a mural for their dog. That's amazing. Uh, really cool graffiti back here, actually. I'm pretty impressed. Um, not sure what this building is or if they just this is just a known wall for taggers to come and get up on i don't know if you guys can tell but those are trains in the background you see that i haven't seen a train that's that color though i don't know what mta that's uh resembling anyways pretty cool vibes in this alley right here in south central we're getting our ride started we're going to go up here and make a right turn on this street which is san pedro street runs north and south all the way through downtown la and through uh south central and that's where we're going to start our ride today we're going to do a little bit of dipping left and right through the neighborhoods, see what is going on. We're going to make this right right here on Adams, and we're just going to cruise for a bit. We're going to try and do a little bit more of staying on main roads than we traditionally do. Usually we try to like get a little bit of in between neighborhoods and main roads. I just don't feel like dealing with all the drama of being out in the, <laughs> in the alleys today. I just, you know. It's a hot day out here in LA. The sun is shining. As you can see, it's about 90 degrees right now. And it's about, I don't know, 5.30, about to be 6 p.m. Super windy. I know that you guys probably don't hear the wind because uh, my GoPro windscreen is amazing. But it also means that I'm gonna have a very oh, shorter than usual battery life. So I'm gonna try and give you guys as much content as possible before that happens. I have three GoPros with me today. That's how hot it is. I have two spares, so I'm gonna be rotating them off as they overheat, as time goes on, which they will. I can guarantee you, each one of them will. Oh, look at this hat collection. Got a little bit of everything. Look, they misspelled California. Cali, F-N-O-R-I-A. Wait, I can't spell either. Am I dyslexic? F-N-O-R-N-I-A. <laughs> this is a cool hat. Yeah. <laughs> You know, here's the thing, a lot of these vendors, they get the hats printed right down this street, this exact street in the fashion district, and they just, you know, print stuff and then they come down here and sell it. Okay, well anyways, uh, coming up uh, Maple, this is another main street that runs north and south through downtown. Uh, just taking the, the shots. I wish I could get a better perspective of how cool this intersection is. You have an overview of downtown back there. You have a mural right here of, uh, oh, uh, or something that's, uh, yeah, I don't know what that exactly is, but, a lot of character on this intersection right here, even though, uh, you know, probably not a place you want to be after like maybe 8 p.m., I'd say at the very latest. Even that's pushing it. Pretty much every wall out here on every building has some type of art, though. You got to love that. That's very cool. Uh, as we cruise through a few of the neighborhoods we will be checking out today, let's pop back out into the street. Is this the same ice cream man we just passed? Man, he's covering ground. Yep, that's him. Bro, <laughs> that song is just terrifying, bro. It's the same song. 
You know what's crazy? I feel like ice cream trucks are like a kind of a thing of a past, right? Are you guys, do you hear ice cream truck where you live? Comment below if you do. A lot of my viewers are on TV now, so I know you guys can't comment, but if you're watching on a phone or computer, uh, let me know. You guys have ice cream trucks in your neighborhood? I don't. It always trips me out when I come down here because like you hear the ice cream truck and it's something you don't really hear that much, I feel like, you know? Anyways, uh, we're gonna do a little bit of uh, switching back and forth. We're gonna leave the neighborhood to the hood real quick to uh, go into the industrial area. Such a busy afternoon. We are past rush hour, basically. So we should be good on, on being able to cruise around just a bit. Kind of hit that jump perfectly. That was sick. This strip right here is kind of crazy. I got the leaf blower cracking. We got a little bit of a uh, auto body parts here. Got the extension cable running across the street. Now this is uh, uh, there used to be some tents right here. It looks like they got cleaned up. Interesting little cut right there that we just passed through. A lot of broken glass on the ground as always. Nothing out of the ordinary. We're gonna make a left back on Adams. Kind of double back the way we just came, just a tad bit. Because if we keep going straight that way, we're not really gonna run into anything at all. Like literally nothing, so. Oh no, they ditched the Barbie truck. They uh, That's an Escalade. They just flipped it and left it for dead. Unlucky. Also, somebody's tent just trashed in the middle of the street. Or the sidewalk that is. Here's sirens behind me. I don't know what's going on back there. I don't know if somebody's in there, bro. I cannot tell. And we have a lone scooter stripped of the battery or whatever was in there. I don't know if that's what a. That's got to be what the battery is on these e scooters, right? And the motor's in the rear wheel. Crazy. Bro's low key pulling up on me. Oh, hey, hey, oh, oh. Anywho, off we go. This is right on the side of that neighborhood we just passed through, you know, there's just people out here trying to survive, the usual thing you see pretty much everywhere in LA, people living in tents. So, we're gonna go back in the neighborhoods real quick. We're kind of drifting off topic. I do smell a fire or something. Let me just check my phone. No idea. Anyways, got the vehicle repair, old school Datsun truck. That thing's sick. Neighborhoods of historical South Central, like right around here is where I pulled up on that police standoff situation thing that was going on and that kid yelled at me. I think it was like right here. Or no, maybe it's another street down. Lots of taggings as you can see right here. Taggings on these pillars right there across the street on that thing, whatever that is, on this building. And there's a dog. Oh no. I don't see, I see, he has a collar on, but he does not have a, uh... look, dude, people don't care out here. She's totally unfazed. She's just like, oh no, there's a dog. <laughs> to the average person is so less shook of a dog than I am. For me, it's just like, I mean, that one, oh man, it's definitely somebody's dog. That sucks, but I'm still not getting close to it. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey man, I love dogs. Don't get me wrong. I do love them. But I am good on getting close to one that's lost and probably hungry. They just, they get, they're skittish and scared, you know? Wait, bro, look at it. Is this a dunk? They got a, this homie, oh my gosh. This thing is ridiculous. This is so clean. Oh, <laughs> the El Camino on 28s. What was that, 28s? Bro, immaculate. Immaculate. I'm in love. If I had an El Camino, I'm doing that to it. <laughs> you don't see those very often out here in LA, man. Even out here in the hood, you do not see donks. I feel like I used to. I used to a lot when I lived in Long Beach as a kid. Like, I, I my neighbor had a donk, and you kind of see them here and there. I mean, if you went to a car show out here, you'd probably see a bunch, but they're definitely uh, less common than they are in, like, Atlanta or, you know, in the South, stuff like that. So you got to appreciate a good donk when you see one out here. Anywho, we're making a left right here. You may recognize this is the DWP building. We've been through here before. Mercedes coming in hot. Not really trying to be in these neighborhoods right now. It's, uh, you know, it's fine, but we're going to keep it moving. More people out here trying to survive. He's got a GoPro head chest, head, head mount thing. Head, head, uh, GoPro head. Got the GoPro head on. 
I can't wear that. It makes my scalp super itchy for some reason. So, um, let's see, where to from here? We're down on 30th Street. That means we traveled 10 blocks south already since we started on 22nd. Uh, we're coming up on the the fork in the road where Avalon and San Pedro break off from each other. I guess we'll go up here. I guess, we're gonna make this right on 33rd real quick and try and take like a slightly different route. I thought I had police on me. Keep going this way. We'll end up going by the uh, soccer stadium. Not really on the agenda for today and end up at USC. So we're gonna try and do a little bit of a uh, I'm swerving to avoid that. Look at this. It's pretty cool art. Don't know who that's supposed to be, but it looks pretty sick. Up here on Jefferson, that should tell you how quick we're covering ground. Pretty dang fast. More broken glass back here on Avalon. We're going to cut straight and go through. If we keep going this way, it just turns into straight like industrial hell. So we're going to try and avoid that to the best of our abilities and try and keep it interesting. We're gonna go through this plaza and then make a right through into the neighborhoods. I don't know what that is. I know it's a market, but I don't know what that little, a little teller thing in the front one. is here. There's an alley right there, but it's kind of hard to get to. Let's see, where can we go from here? I do like the area, man. I just don't know exactly where to go from here. We're on Stanford. This is not a through street to the city, so we are going to make a left. Lots of alleys right here. We're probably going to end up taking a couple just to save us some time because uh, we could say no to every single alley, but that's just boring, right? We got to check out at least a couple. Oh, well, let's just go this way, I guess. We're going to end up going back to where we started eventually. So, I mean, of course, right? That's why I parked. We kind of ended up off track of where we were trying to be big time, so we're gonna turn it around through this deep sweat. There's a lot of stuff right there. I don't know exactly what this, what's going on at this part of town. You got, I have no idea. There's just lots of things on the sidewalk. Some people collecting them. Looks like money's being trans. They're making money. Something's happening. I don't know. I don't know, folks. You probably know better than me. I just ride around. <laughs> nice guy. Oh wait, we've been this way. Yeah, we've been this way. It's like a, a low-key industrial area. So last time we came down here, these doors were open. Yeah, I remember. Okay, that's, you know, that's a rare sight out here in uh, in the hood, but uh, it's a sign of the times, so folks. Those pedaling through here without a care in the world. You gotta love it. Man, I'm riding without a care, so. Same but different. Our bro is fixing his car in the middle of the street. That is just, that's the definition of get it how you live right there. Looks like he's already done too. Maybe, I don't know. I thought he was fixing the flat, but I think he had something else going on. Anyways, off we go. Hitting all the jumps we can in, everything. <laughs> Hitting every single jump possible on his bike. Look at all the broken glass out here, man. That looks like someone just threw something on the ground. Less of uh... Damn, hey man. Calm down. It ain't a getaway. That's why I'm always half spooked while riding around these areas there's just so many crazy drivers you know it is what it is though people parked in the middle of the street that is called there's not enough parking in la <laughs> that's a prime example right here i bet they they park overnight that's a clean camaro and some pretty cool parts of town though we never come out here this is uh much further than we usually go on our uh on our hood rides or our uh, BMX Adventures on the Suron. Continuing on, we're back on Hooper. Any vlog viewers know Hooper is, uh, that means you're pretty much in the middle of the hood right now. When you hit, when you hit Hooper, that's a halfway point. So we can go north or south and it's the same difference pretty much. I guess we're gonna go north. If we go north, we kinda end up in, uh, in the Arts District of downtown if we go straight for long enough, but I don't know if that's really the plan. We're just gonna chug along for a bit and see what happens. We have an alley. This looks like a fine one to check out, right? A little bit more tagging. Nothing too crazy out of the ordinary. 
is the least thing you could expect to see in an alley in South Central. Is tagging of all types, gang tagging. This alley's kind of bumpy. Looks like there's a few cars trying to get past. What's up, Lo? Hey, hey. <laughs> Dude, I hey, bro. Don't caught me off guard right there, I can't lie. With the what's up look. Anyways, rush hour is beginning as you can tell. Out here on Naomi Street. We got vacuums on the giveaway and more gang tagging of course everywhere you go i can't read any of that so i'm not even going to try but we got an alley as well i think we're going to check out this one why not right hopefully it doesn't dead end in front of us i can't really tell if it does or not i got my dog senses on uh on a cute mode right now Super high dog awareness. The thing about being on a Suron too is when a dog catches you or wants to start chasing you, they're gonna take off full flight because it's like they're chasing a car, you know? They're gonna come max velocity directly at you. So it's very uh, scary. There's no other way to put it. It's, it's scary as hell. Anyways, out here covering quite a bit of ground and not that much time. We did a nice little route. Wow. Looking for alleys. Looks like there's none really to check out over here. Bunch of homeboys just chilling on the corner, you know? That's just LA for you. I don't know. Something going on up here. Doing more zigzags. Summer's hot out here in LA, man. It's turned up. It's just a lot of uh it's a lot of stuff going on. You gotta watch your back. We got alleys. Let's check out another alley, huh? Why not? This one's actually very clean. I pointed out before, some alleys are gonna be clean and some are not. Oh. This is sound of them pit bulls getting ready to chase me, put some fear into my soul. Jesus. Yeah, not much going on in the alleys right here, so we're gonna, you know, avoid unnecessary dog confrontation. That's what I like to call it. I'm not really worried about people so much as, uh, dogs <laughs> specifically pit bulls they uh they're they're the least friendly things that you'll encounter as far as people anything you can possibly run into sick artwork right here uh, getting through the bush overgrown pulling up on downtown la honestly that's how close we are to the city if we keep going straight, we run straight into downtown. Back on Washington where we started, we're going to go across the street here, do a quick swig through uh, the very edge of downtown. Not so much in it, but we're definitely going to scoot around the edge of it real quick just to see what's going on. You know, play it cool, play it safe. Wouldn't be a hood video without at least checking it out real quick, you know. Tagging's over there. This is where we rode through and there was a metro bus just chilling uh, on the sidewalk. I was right here. You make a left right here. Looks like that's long been uh, taken away. We're gonna go that way though and see what's going on. Gotta be real careful with traffic out here. Oh. I don't think we can make it through right there. Those pallets look like they're gonna stop us. So we gotta go against traffic, which is just a sketch. Walter White season out here, folks. Lots of pallets. There must be a lot of money in the pallet game because that's one of the main things you see out here. Especially in this little part of town. Oh, we got loose dogs. Nope. Nope. We ain't even playing with the game, folks. Going all the way around for those. Okay, well, it ain't much going on on the edge of downtown. I can tell you that much. The usual things you see are the same things that we saw today. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's how I describe that. It's that time of day where it's, oh, it's kind of hard for me to see going this way towards the sun. They're working on the truck. 
That's right. Getting her done. Uh, so yeah, I can't really see going this way, but we're still going this way. Having fun while we do it too. Gotta be careful of these alleys. People come speeding up out of them. And these. <laughs> Anywho, quick little run through South Central in the hood today. Not bad. Still going. Let's take the let's take the scenic route, huh? Might as well finish off strong. We got an alley right here and an alley to the left. Let's take the left alley. This is the way we gotta go. <coughs> Bless me. Alright, let's check it out. Ooh, we're going straight into a uh, roadblock. Oh, I can't get through. I'll turn around. Okay, well, can't go that way. They're having a good time, you know. I ain't gonna sit there and make a move of the car. Plus, I get to stride down that alley again, which is awesome. We'll just go all the way around the block. A little bit more graffiti. I was like, dang. <laughs> they really get in every crevice and wall they can back here, man. I must suck for the business owners. You know. But that's LA for you. Ain't nothing ever going to change. Some people think it's part of the culture. Some people, you know, it's just normal for them. I can't lie. All the gang stuff was normal for me for my entire life. Honestly, growing up in Northside Long Beach. Your friends being in gangs and everyone you know being part of gangs is just kind of part of life. It was normal back then, I don't know. So it's not out of the ordinary to see it everywhere, still, to this day. And not getting any lesser at all. <laughs> Got two cops rolling back to back. Where are they going? Oh, they're coming in here. They're coming for me. It's over. Folks, I'm going to jail. If they pull, if they blurt me right here, it's actually gonna be insane. Depends on how hard they swing this corner. I was going to tell if they're looking for me or not. I'm down to get pulled over for content. I'm not running. <laughs> the way they turned in, they look like they're coming for me, so I don't know. They're not going to sit around and wait for it either. So let's just keep going for now. If they want to catch up with us, hey, find me on YouTube. All right, absolute banger of a day, folks, on the song. If you guys enjoyed, consider subscribing. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video very soon. Peace out her making moves how funny is it that when we started the video we just saw a chicken on the ground that's something you expect to see like later on <laughs> like somewhere in the middle of the day usually we saw that thing right off the jump that's that's south central for you folks oh we're coming up on uh what street is this i don't know we gotta get off the sidewalk for sure there's a bunch of people up ahead got the taco stand cracking that smelled so good east scooter gang love to see that we gotta keep going this way i want to try and get across this street right here if it's possible it is so deep in the rush hour, it's just like, I'm trying to avoid all the main roads right now. It's just not really panning out. Oh, something's going down. I see police officers. Oh, they got someone arrested. What happened here? Looks like he was standing on the road and they got him in cuffs. Hard to really tell what's happening, but not the best day for that guy, unfortunately. That brings us to a really weird part of LA that I just, uh, once again, don't ever come to. But well, we're gonna check it out right now. We're like on the border of the fashion district, low key. Over here, there's uh, you know, people living on the road, stuff like that. So it's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> you can see as I'm riding along, I guess. So they recently cleaned this underpass. It's funny to me how they they pick specific ones like this one was recently completely swept out as you can see there's people still living on the side of the road right around the corner but they said like you know what you cannot live under this underpass i feel like maybe they're they're trying to go step by step and and deal with each one like one at a time my best guess but you know who knows see the police helicopter overhead they're going southbound towards the uh towards figueroa street we are not going to go after that we're just going down this road for a hot second 
to get back to uh, where we gotta go, the one way road, but you never know. People come zipping down the wrong way roads all the time in LA. Got the RVs on deck, e-bikes. Pretty, uh, you know, survival mode in LA. What's going on right here? That is what it is. We get on the sidewalk here. I just have a weird feeling about this turn. <laughs> Bro is mopping on the little e-bike. All right, back on Washington. Finally, took us a while, but we made it. That is how road rage starts, folks. I don't want to be on the receiving end of that. Whatever's going on there. What is that? Segway. Oh, that thing's sick. <laughs> You're just chilling, dude. I was like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, hell yeah. All right, off we go, folks. Dude, they're in the... Look at these people. Oh, my God. You're going to trip out on this. They're in the middle of the road. Oh, my God. That's just a little bit dangerous. Just a little bit. Yeah, just a little. Oh my god, that's, that's completely stupid to be fair. <laughs> they are just, uh, that's a, <laughs> I don't know what to say about that one folks, they're crazy. They are crazy, that's a death wish. Broken glass right there. Not uncommon to see people's cars getting broken into in this area. This is the Arts District of downtown LA and we got a pink Porsche. Look at that. Brand new 911. What color is that? Can someone fill me in? I know it's not pink, but it's also not purple. It's like somewhere in between. Looks good. I want to say a few weeks, maybe even a month since I've been out in uh, downtown LA on the e-bike. So I figured today we are overdue. I was trying to figure out what I was going to do out here, but we're just going to freestyle it. Most of the time that's when uh, I have the most fun and that's what it's all about, you know? First off, I just want to thank everybody who's new to the channel. Everybody who's not new to the channel. If you've just been watching and showing love, I appreciate you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're new, if you're old, doesn't matter. If you're watching my stuff, I appreciate you. And thanks for watching. So today we're doing like a, uh, we're just going to do like a little, kind of like a checkup of downtown, you know. The last time I was out here was 4th of July. So we're going to do a little cruise today. We're just going to do a, a checkup and see. We're going to compare how things were on that day the 4th of july to today which is about you know two and a half weeks later we're going to go through skid row which is where we are right now at this very moment as i do this uh intro we're going to go through the middle of downtown and we're going to go through a couple of other parts of uh the city that i i don't really go through that often but uh we're going to try and just do a, a full coverage look at those boxes what the heck they're all like the same size hey and we got the, the, the forklifts just coming for their nightly naps right here. Fire trucks going off in the background. I don't see any fires, nor do I smell one. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume that it is probably for an injury. Uh, anyways, as we try to get our way through Skid Row, that's where we're gonna start today. Um, Skid Row, a place that most people uh, in the world know. If you're not from LA, but you don't know Skid Row for any reason, it is a... Uh, it's a place where there's lots of homeless people. That's the best and simplest way I can put it. Uh, anyways, right here in Skid Row, it looks like uh, an event just happened or some type of uh, something. The, the fire truck just kept going. Paramedics stopped. Looks like they're doing some type of evaluation. We're just going to go ahead and keep going. Uh, I don't know what's going on right here. This car is stopped on the wrong side of the road. Uh, looks like some type of something's going on there that we're just going to go ahead and keep going. Oh man, he's coming in hot. Oh. We are out here in the midst of Skid Row. We're going to start making our way out of here because especially around this time of day, you know, you don't really want to be here for any reason. It's just kind of like uh, you either end up here or you're like me where I've been to Skid Row so many times. It's just, you know, nothing out here really phases me or shocks me, the stuff that I see. I'm just kind of going, you know, I'm just doing my route to get into the city and for me it involves a little bit of zigzagging so you know it is what it is but um i don't know i've i have so many videos about skid row on my channel where i explain kind of like what 
goes on to this part of town and it, there's not much more to it other than that it's just people trying to survive you know that's the simplest way to put it and it's also the realest way to put it is that it's a bunch of people just trying to survive and i used to go this exact route right here on fifth street going northbound every single day so it's not really uh it doesn't really feel that crazy to me to ride through here as you can tell i'm i'm, I'm really chilling you know the key is to not really ever stop you don't really want to stop for any reason whether you're comfortable with your surroundings in la or not but if you're somewhere where you don't know that well or if you just do know it and you know that it's a place where you shouldn't be stopping then don't stop <laughs> just keep going run stop signs run red lights it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day even though you may be quote unquote breaking a law i'd rather break a law 10 times out of 10 then uh, deal with the consequences of not breaking a law and then something happening. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's pretty much simple as that. So anyways, uh, we just did a, a speed run through Skid Row. One of these days I'll maybe go through like all of it, like front to back, but even today, you know, it's just, it's hard to do that because uh, it just is. I don't really know how else to put it. It just is, it's, it's, it's not a simple place to, to navigate through and the thing is word spreads quick out here when you're somewhere where you're not supposed to be and you're somebody who is uh you know it's clear that you don't belong right so um even for me i'm just gonna have to get off the sidewalk you got to kind of play things by ear right so that's why i try not to be in skid row too much got a meeting of the minds right here interesting car coming out off we go into downtown. So we did a skid row route. Uh, and it looks like we're at a dead end. I truly did not ever know that this alley dead ends. If I'm not mistaken, we can just push this open and get out though. Let's go ahead and find out. Okay, I was wrong. It smells terrible right here. Let's see if we can get out through here on the left. Nope, locked. We may have to go the exact route we just came. Because I parked here before, so I think actually, yeah, right here. Boom. There is a route out to get to, uh, I don't know what street that is right here. Maybe Broadway? Actually not sure whatever street this is that we're on right now. There's the one that we'll go down. Right here, a very famous street in Los Angeles. I don't know how many people know, but right here, a very extremely viral moment that went viral across the entire world happened. Uh, I can't really talk about it too much on the channel. Hey, that guy was staring at me like, <laughs> like he had a personal vendetta against me. I don't know you, dude. I'm just riding too. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, we got a walker. Just trying to make our way through. Gonna make a left on spring and go this way. This video serves a few purposes, right? If you've ever been to downtown, I'm going to try and cover a lot of ground in this one video so you can kind of see what's going on all over the place. Second, uh, if you're thinking about moving to downtown, I strongly recommend that you don't. You know, as a person who is from Los Angeles, I born and raised LA, north side Long Beach, uh, lived in South Central, all over. I've lived, uh, you know, also lived by the beach, lived in the west side, lived everywhere, you know. I do not recommend downtown LA out of anywhere you could possibly move to. Don't come here. Just come visit. It's not worth it. And it's totally not a place that you want to live for any reason. It just sucks here, all right? It's cool to visit. It's fun to look at. And uh, it's relatively exciting. But overall, I would say that you don't want to live here. You know, so that's just my two cents. You know, everyone's going to make their own decisions. Some people, I was just having a conversation with my friend about this today. I don't understand why people are obsessed with living down here. There's some people who come and they move here once and they never leave. They just, they, they get stuck here in downtown. And I mean, hey man, to each their own. But uh, I, for me personally, I'll never move back. What's going on, Tracy? What up? That is Tracy. He is a food delivery guy out here in downtown. I used to see him all the time when I lived here. Looks like uh, he was in the middle of trying to get a job or something. So. Anyways, this is uh, the middle part of downtown. We're about to hit a couple zigzags. 
and then we're gonna end up back at Pershing Square. That is our next stop. Damn. Always a little bit of construction going on in downtown, so. Bro, what is that? Okay, let's go investigate. <laughs> what type of motors you got on there? Did you make that? Yeah. Dude, that thing's sick, bro. It is bad. I just, I rode it to Glendale. I mean, I go to Glendale like a couple times a day. No shit? Yeah, yeah. Have you taken it to like, uh, to Sun Valley, North Hollywood, anything like that? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I go all the way to Canoga Park. Dude, dude, that thing's badass, man. I like it. Hey, be safe, brother. Wow, dude, that thing is so cool. <laughs> what are the odds we run into a... Uh, a cool dude on a uh, those those are the old school style of uh, motorized bikes depending on where you live you may or may not have seen one of those before they basically put a um, a lawnmower engine on a bicycle so that thing probably had like I want to say three horsepower who knows where the engines from like where he sourced it from but uh, those things are super common out in like South Central or Long Beach where I grew up in I used to see those all the time I mean dating back for like 20 years ago you know, it's not a new design by any means, but I feel like they're starting to take more popularity because everywhere you go in LA, you see people on e-bikes and not everyone can afford an electric bike, but it is surprisingly affordable to convert a bike into one of those unmower motor conversion style uh, bikes. So that's where that uh, source is from. Oh man, mobbing on the Suron. Anyways, there's a little bit of the city. We did Skid Row, we did Mid City, and now we are heading up to Staples Center. We're gonna cruise through there real quick, see if we see any cyclists. And then, uh, I don't know what, this, what the day holds. I'll try and show you guys a little bit of the top of downtown. We're gonna do a whole like uh, top to bottom, but so far so good. Huh? So for reference, the city that he said he rode to from, uh, from downtown, to there i'm curious to know how long it took him to do that route because if you're going to ride a regular bicycle without a motor i mean that's an easy hour you know going anywhere from downtown to burbank just riding that that's going to take a little while so i would love to know how long it actually took him to do that route i should have asked him but i would assume i'd probably say like 25 30 minutes something like that you know got some goon riders those goon bikes are all over the place now they're just so popular everywhere you can look in LA if someone's riding a bike they're probably on a goon damn LA live is cracking tonight I'm gonna go ahead and try to make our way through messing around Let's gonna check out LA Live LA Live is packed oh, there's so many people here tonight I think the guy might have been talking to me I don't know we're showing there's a lot of lot of families here so we're gonna go ahead and slow it down just a little bit there's not any sporting games or anything going on like that tonight so I don't know why there's so many people here but it is surely packed Turn around this way to the other side of LA Live. Got some obstacles. Go spot your route and commit. Damn, it's packed. There must be something big going on because you don't ever see this parking lot full of cars. So whatever is happening tonight is a big deal. It's got to be a big concert. Let's ask this lady. Hey, what's the concert tonight? Uh, no idea. You don't know? No. Oh, thank you. Let's see if we can find out. No cyclists here today. Usually there's at least one. There's a BMXer, but other than that, nothing going on. Rick Ross. <laughs> Let's see if we can ask someone what the event is tonight. Oh, I don't know. Anyways, 
we're gonna keep going on our next stop is Pershing Square we're gonna end up there one way or another so let's go ahead and start mobbing it must be some type of nice event damn what a nice view right here right look at this beautiful view of uh, LA Live and the convention center hey what's the event here tonight I think it's the Jurassic World, but I finished already. Ah. Uh, we have a couple uh, Aladdin artists here at the Peacock Theater. Aladdin. All these people here for Aladdin? Yeah. What the hell? Oh, thanks, bro. Paramedics out here. It looks like somebody not having the best night. Oh, they got the stretcher out. Uh-oh. I don't see any evidence of a car accident. It's very common to see people in this, this little area right here outside of LA Live getting too drunk for their own good. It's very, it happens, it happens fast. You know what they say, life comes at you fast and so does alcohol poisoning. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and keep it moving from there. Next stop on our downtown LA tour as tourists in our own city is going to be the Pershing Square. Risk it for the biscuit. I would love to make a right turn right here. Let's see if that's possible. Oh God. Yep. This is one of the only spots we can pin it in LA because there's no cars that pull out. There are cars that pull in though. We got a double tag. Got to do a double tag and keep going. Watch out for people speeding, making rights against the red and we're off wow you know it's very rare that i get to actually floor it through downtown on this bike so that's always a lot of fun all right what a route we've taken so far Okay, well that worked out. Next up we have a Fitum. If we can get across the street today, it's gonna be difficult, but hopefully we can do it. But we got the Domino Cyclist, legendary in Los Angeles. The downtown LA Domino Cyclist are some of the most committed delivery drivers or riders uh, on bicycles in the city. They are right neck and neck with the uh, Jason's Liquor Store delivery riders out here in downtown LA. If you know, you know. If you don't know what I'm talking about, they are the fastest people on bicycles out here when it comes to uh, delivering stuff. Just trying to get across the street. Okay, anyways, we are here at Fitum. One of the places you are not supposed to be for any reason on a bike. Not really much to do here. Oh, we can't get out here. Okay, well, now we know. I guess we could through there. It sounds like we're putting along. Oh no, we're good. Eh, we don't even want to go through there though. <laughs> go ahead and jump. Oh, never mind. Let's try it again. I don't know what else we can get ourselves up to. We kind of did a little bit of everything. We hit Skid Row. We hit the Staple Center. We've got the Instagram. <laughs> but uh yeah quick tear through downtown just seeing what's going on with the city i mentioned to you guys not too long ago i want to do like uh weekly checkups in downtown just see what the vibe is out here you know see what's going on and uh that's what we did today we got a cyclist this uh oh no that's not a cop usually cops undercovers in the city will drive those cars those dodge darts even if you're just cruising around in la you never know what you might run into you know you never know. Off we go. You know, I don't think you can really consider this Skid Row, but there is some really sick artwork. Check this out. Big taggings right here. NERD. This is the stuff you see on the outskirts of downtown like this where we're at right here. I'm just trying to escape from Los Angeles right now. This is, uh, this is the getaway portion of the day. I thought I would run into some people I know, but even better, we ran into some new people, which is also really cool. So, uh, you know, that's always fun. I really need to get out of my shell and start meeting more people when I see them on uh, electric stuff. I'm just so anti-social, man. 
it's been a problem my whole life. I just am very, uh, I'm not the best at communicating. So like, uh, I'm just so awkward, man. I don't know how to talk. So it's time that I, to look at this trash. What the f uh, okay. Man, anyways, skid row folks. We're gonna start mobbing along. Look at all those, look at that ATV. What's up G? Yep, he was not happy about me just looking. For the record, no, I don't like anything there. I was just looking. Hey man, <laughs> at the end of the day, I'm just riding around <laughs> on my Saran, so. Like I mentioned all the time, folks, sensory overload in Los Angeles. It is very important to stay focused on the road out here. It's, and it's easy to get distracted. There's just so much going on at any given moment that you want to look at. And it's like, oh my God. Those are some streets we went down in the past. We are going to pass on all that for today. We might do another downtown tour. By the way, this is all downtown. This is, <laughs> that's how big of a city. Uh, oh, look at that Buick GNX. Oh yeah, baby. That's what I like right there. When I get a whole bunch of money, I ain't getting no sports car. I ain't getting no Lamborghini. I'm getting one of those. The Buick Regal GNX. Got a little bump right there. Might as well send it real quick, huh? gotta jump every bump a rule no matter what two-wheel device you're on you gotta jump the bumps that's just a little bit dangerous just a little bit yeah just a little oh my god they might as well be in the middle of a freeway that's how crazy that bridge is people go flying down that thing i'm talking like 80 90 100 miles an hour on the regular so to be standing in the middle of it doing a photo shoot not the best idea as a matter of fact I think she had a microphone. So even worse, I think that we're doing like a like a podcast or like a video shoot. I don't know, people. The craziest part is not even close to the weirdest thing we saw in Los Angeles today. Go figure. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today. I kind of ran a video. I just I was like, you know what? Instead of sitting at home, I'm gonna get out and we're gonna record something. So that's how we got to today. If you watch this whole video, I appreciate you so much, whether it was on a TV, computer, iPad, iPhone, doesn't matter. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video very soon. Peace out.